Slick Shot Show Off from Outlaws of Thunder Junction definitely puts in some insane work, especially when you combine it with the Kelvin Flame Sage, chaining back to back spells over and over. Like, check out this sweet double Angel's Fire Ignition, getting in huge damage against our opponent and gaining us all the life. What's going on, Dragonauts? Astros Land here, tapping out to talk about Boris Heroic. A new deck, well, not quite new, but it is taking explosion measures on the ladder thanks to Outlaws of Thunder Junction bringing us Slick Shot Show Off. But hey, before you tap out and try this deck, why not tap that subscribe button to stay updated on all the new standard brews that are coming out for the Outlaws of Thunder Junction meta, because it is going to be crazy, like the crazy deals you can also find at Into the AM by using code ASTRALS10 to save 10% off your order and getting your 3-pack and 6-pack of basic tees and graphic tees to fill out your collection, like the sweet one that I'm wearing today. Now, let's get into Boros Heroic. This is a deck submitted to me by Go Calper, one of my awesome viewers, and it is titled What in Tarnation, because what in Tarnation can this deck accomplish? It is crazy in damage. We are combining some insane cards in the way of the Keldon Flame Sage, the Fugitive Codebreaker, Slick Shot Show Off, and even Monastery Swiss Spear. I bet you didn't see that one coming, because your opponent won't know what is going to hit them with this deck, especially with Illuminator Virtuoso. The secret underlier that can get this deck fueling like the Keldon Flame Sage. Now, I will say, what this deck wants to do is very straightforward. In terms of, you have buffing spells, use those spells on your creatures. Get things big. Monstrous Rage is a huge one. We are doing that. We are going to be doing Stolen Vitality. We're adding that in. Homestead Courage, another great one to add in. Even Dreadmaw's Ire isn't half bad here as well. All of these spells are going to buff your creatures in such the way of Slickshot Show Off, basically having prowess. Monastery Swiss Spear, again, that prowess. What is really going to fuel this engine here is the two cards of Illuminator Virtuoso and Keldon Flame Sage. Illuminator Virtuoso has the connive mechanic, right? As you target it with the spell, you'll get to draw a card and discard a card. And if you discard a non land card this way, Illuminator Virtuoso is going to get a plus one plus one counter. That stacked with cards like Homestead Curves that add the plus one plus one counter make disgusting amounts of damage. And it gets even worse when you use something like Ancestral Anger or Monster Rage to give it Trample, and then suddenly you're double striking Illuminator Virtuoso. It's just swinging in for lethal on turn three or four. However, as we're casting all these spells, we are going to run out of cards in hand. That is where the Kelton Flame Sage is able to come in handy for this deck. It is going to help us dig deeper and cast spells from our deck. You'll be able to look at the top X cards equal to the power of the Kelton Flame Sage. Now, thankfully, it does have a list. However, uh, we're going to just try buffing it up and get its power huge. And in conjunction with something like the Slick Shot Show Off, as you're casting those spells from the Flame Sage, your Slick Shot Show Off is going to get even bigger, and you can use the spells that you found from the Keldon Flame Sage to cast it on your Slick Shot Show Off or your Illuminator Virtuoso, growing it in size and power, which is disgustingly amazing. Uh, in terms of interaction wise with this deck, so we've gone over the strat. You know, you're going to bash in your opponent. You're going to cast those spells, get some sweet synergy. What are we doing really to protect our board? Well, honestly, you're going to be the aggressor with this deck. You don't need to do much. So the only thing you're going to be running in the deck here is Surge of Salvation. This is going to give you and your creatures Hexproof, right? That's the big thing, Hexproof, protecting your stuff. And uh, in a pinch, any damage that black or red creatures are going to deal to you or your creatures is going to be nullified for the turn. So ill-timed explosion? Not so well ill-timed anymore. Very great for that, though. Land base, not much to change here. You know, the Restless Bivouac coming in. We have some Sokenza. Get some tokens. Puff them big. Do some damage. Feels great. Let's now let's talk about this sideboard here. First off, we've got Loran's Escape. This is a great alternative protective spell that is going to let you single target and uh, give some indestructible to keeping one of your creatures alive through other removal spells. Little Mana Barrage, that's up next. That's going to come in against those control matches or your Esper matches where you need to easily take down a Rafine, or matches where your opponent's going to have some counter magic and you just want their blue or white creatures easily dealt with. Recommission is going to be in those mid-range matches. Recommission is a great way to bring back some of your creatures from the graveyard back into play, getting you a chance to continue swinging in for more damage. Rest in peace. While it does kind of hurt our deck if you're playing Recommission and we're not ever bringing those in together, Rest in Peace is really for the reanimator decks to shut them off or the teamer analyst list. Any deck that is running lands and utilizing that graveyard, 
bring in rest in peace, shut them off. Speaking of shutting things off, Torpor. This is our great new card coming in from Aldaz as well. I love seeing this reprint. What's great is creatures entering the battlefield don't trigger ETBs. So any ETB that your opponent's trying to do, Torpor Orb is going to shut that off, which is great. Uh, lastly, Twisted Fealty. This is a bit of a flip to one I'm running because why would you want to steal your opponent's creature? Well, if you're going up the five color mid range matchup uh, or five color domain, stealing an Atraxa for three mana is pretty good to deliver that finishing blow. Well, Dragonauts, this is what in Tarnation by Go Calper. Please enjoy the games. From Tarnation, uh, no creatures. But we have a, bio, a bivouac. Mm. No, no, we need a creature. Our bivouac is gonna go bivabi. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I probably just put the planes back. Because we can just pay the bivouac and tap. Make High Noon looking real good right now. Yeah, no, you should be playing High Noon. If you are not in a deck that is playing a lot of cards, uh, you, you need to be playing High Noon. <laughs> If you are in white and not playing more than one spell, uh, so we're against Convo. I'm pretty okay with this, so this is more than likely going to be the Night Aaron Chaos. Okay. That's fine. Uh, neither of those are problematic. We can just play in our uh, Luminary Virtuoso here. And I can take advantage of our Angel Fire Ignition next turn for life gain and Vigilance. We get hard to beat here if they have the case. If opponent does not have the case, we're looking really good. And they may just decide to attack. And then attack with like the full four. Which is fine if they do, right? Because then I just go Angel's Fire. Oh, another... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yep, we're, we're cool with that. So they attack us to 4 to 14, and we're about to gain 6. So let's go more blocks. Yeah, this is uh, looking really nice here. We'll go Vantage into Angel Fire Ignition. is going to trigger. Um... I'm going to choose to actually discard a land here. It doesn't give us that extra ability, but we do just attack for six and gain six back. Going up to 20. Unfortunately, they had the case. Yeah, that's... Uh... So we're going to go to game two. So let's run it in. We'll get to game two. Up against Boros Convoke. Lithomanic Barrages are nice. We're not going to really need the Ire. Still want to keep in the creatures we can. We probably cut the Kayla's Command. And I think it's just going to be Lithomantics. Final Showdown could be an option as well. All creatures lose all abilities, but if our creature is just bigger, that can be helpful. It turns off anything the Warden does for a turn, though. Could also potentially use it to just pull up all creatures, so maybe we bring in that over... Let's probably say a Homestead Courage. All right, let's try Final Showdown and three Lithomanics. But that is the way it's gonna go. So let's get in for game two, we'll see what we got. Swiss Spear, Slick Off, Felden. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is gonna be great. Right, we go Swifty turn one, attack him. And then we can go ahead and plot our Slipshot show off. Oh, or I can cast a Virtuoso? Oh no, I gotta, oh, it's gotta be cast a Virtuoso. Virtuoso with Angel's Fire, right? Nope, they just have the case of the Getaway Express. How do you have that? How could you have that again? Ah, well, we'll play in the Flame Sage here. And we'll pass the turn. 
Flame Sage is really what gets the deck engine rolling, so. As great as Virtuoso can be, our Keldon of Flame Sage is just that better. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do Angel's Fire on the Flame Sage. Got a 4-5 Vigilance, we get to attack, we've got the trigger. And this is where it gets great. It's indestructible, what are you gonna do? Nothing. You're gonna ganja the Swifty, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I think cast a Homestead Courage. And we'll put that on our uh, on our flame stage there and attack him for five. It's pretty good, right? The Kelvin Flame Sage is a bit of a replacement, like Dreadhorde Arcanist, for what you would play in standard over uh, in Pioneer. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and flash this back now. We have no other spells, so we'll leave it as a 6-7. It's harder for the opponent to destroy this way. And we have the secondary Angel's Fire ready. It was a very nice explosive turn. 100%. Yeah, Resolute. Even if you go like Nine Air and Aveos, like I just have the Angel's Fire here. But like, honestly, I think I'm just gonna plot the Slick Shot show off. Or do I just play it? No, you know what? Let's just gain the life. I'm gonna. We're gonna. Win. We'll attack in for nine, and we'll grab another Angel's Fire Ignition here. That's 10 damage, gain 10 life. I go up to 35. They go down to eight. I have a 10, 11. It's pretty good. And if we happen to top deck another untapped land, we can do slick shot show off into the angel's fire. So that's pretty cool. I like the damage up, but we're doing. The Flame Sage is doing really great stuff. Like, I don't really know what another Night Errant gets you. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight. You would still need an extra mana and three more creatures to even live, so you just die next turn. Cool. Setting up the scry does virtually nothing here. So if we get an untapped land, we did. So we can actually go ahead and do a Gonjo into our Slick Shot Show Off. And then Angels fire the Slick Shot Show Off for five in the air. That's gonna trigger the Flame Sage which is going to get us another Angel's Fire Ignition that we can just cast on the Flame Sage. And there. That's our comeback on game two. And we're at a nice padded 53 life. All right, game three. So when we look at game three, we're going to be on the draw. Uh, there is disadvantage to us being on the draw. We can't have as as an aggressive of a start. So we're probably going to try to look for a setup turn where we can maybe get like Slick Shot Show Off to really power in if we get it in hand and try to have some other answers. Something like Elspeth might, might be better for us to have in for this game to bring in since again, we're going to be on the draw. Uh, so I may be tempted to bring in the Smites. Uh, we've not really been able to get our Laurel's escape, and they just seem to always have the keys. I don't really want to cut creatures, because that always bites me in the butt. Uh, final showdown is still something. I think we can actually cut the showdown on this one. We'll go down to we'll keep three little semantics, and we'll cut... We'll cut a stolen vitality. 
And we'll go into game three. Laurent's escape and double angel's fire. Oh. We just don't have a creature though. If we had a creature, like this would be a really nice setup. And I don't think we can bang on Vrong. So we got a mulligan. Okay, that's the, I mean. It's not great, but it's a flame sage that we can protect. That is uh, important enough. And that's an angel's fire. We'll say no attacks. Angel's Fire and Keldon Flame Sage. We're going places, chat. That being said, um, let me just uh, go ahead and plot my Slick Shot Show Off. Because we are going to get a big damage turn. Flashing that in, that's fine. We're not trying to attack. War Leader's Call. Got it. We'll take this damage. Hey, what's going on, Angst? How you doing tonight? Looking and I just had a thought. Torp Orb is insanity. It's very true. It absolutely is in standard. Uh, we'll go in Flame Sage and say no attacks. All right, we are we are looking good. How you doing, by the way? Happy Friday, friend. It's good to have you. In. Novice Spectre coming on in. Just don't have the case. I don't care about a gleeful demolition. We're gonna take a bunch of damage still here, but we're about to heal. No blocks. You have no ATBs? Yeah, we don't have a we do not have any ATBs, so that is a good thought, actually. I do I do like that thought. So let's go ahead and cast in our slick shot show off. We're gonna go ahead and Angel's Fire our Kelvin Flame Sage. Get us a 4 or 5 Life Linker. And I think I'm also gonna go ahead and Ancestral Anchor the Flame Sage. Isn't better Doorkeeper Thrill? Uh, Doorkeeper Thrill's not terrible. Oh no, I hit the Angel's Fire off the top. Oh, chat, it's terrible. Oh, that's actually not great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hit another aid. Another ancestral number, at least. If we hadn't have drawn the ancestral, oh my gosh, this, this backfired so terribly. No, the angel's fire wasn't supposed to be drawn. Well, we could be dead. We're getting in for 18 damage. Sadness. Sadness chat. Opponent goes to 2. We go to 13. They cast in resolute reinforcements, and we go to 11. My sadness on the stack resolves. I don't even know why they're doing that. All they have to do is attack. Like, they have enough damage. Sadness on the stack resolves. If we had to hit the Angel's Fire, that was lethal. All right, let's go ahead. We'll grab the play here. Slickshot show up in a couple Flame Sages. I am going to keep. Number 69. We are. We are against Warsman. I think we're just going to plot the show off. Uh, ideally, we draw on the land. <gasps> we're against lands. Oh, no. I'm actually not too scared of lands. I will be uh, completely honest. There. I am. Uh, I'm not as scared of the lands. Analyst is the okie dokies. We are, uh, we're gonna just cast in our show off here. And then we're gonna go with a quick Homestead Courage into a Homestead Courage. 
And we're going to attack for seven. And suddenly have a creature that doesn't die to <laughs> Beard Vengeance. The Abyss watches you. That's just weird, Swapples. That's just weird. Another Homestead Courage. I mean, technically this is like extra bonuses, so. Might as well. I could try to go for the land, but I think at this point. Boop. Oppo at six. And our Slickshaw Show Up cannot be killed. Mwahaha. Ooh, ah, ha, ha. I still have two other buff spells. And ill, okay, well, ill-timed explosion. That that could set us back. They have to deal six here. Oh, they got it. Oh, right. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do the Kelden Flame Sage. I actually. Woodbreaker. Woodbreaker Ancestral Fire. Oop, you're at two. We forced out the ill-timed explosion again. Excellent. Mwahaha. Can I get a Swiss spear off the top? That'd be great. Hey, what's going on, Wolf? How you doing tonight? Happy Friday. Welcome in. Hope it's going well. Alright, 20 heals to three. Monastery Swiss spear off the top or another code breaker is the uh, sadly, we did not get either of those, so we'll cast in a Flame Sage and pass the turn. And I did misplay there. I did not play the Inspiring Vantage, so that was a, a mistake on my part. This is, however, going to force the opponent to have to have another answer, whether it's a World Soul's Rage or another Ill-Timed Explosion. So we've got that going for us. We're trying to force uh, Fire's Victory, sure. So fine, they're down line. There's the Swift Spear. Let's go, chat. And because I don't want any shenanigans from the opponent, I'm just going to go ahead and stolen Vitality in case they try to gain more life. And that's game one. So, the reason I did the stolen Vitality is the opponent could have a turn the earth, which shuffles a few cards back into their deck and gains two life. So we do have to maximize the damage to power. Hey, Delivery, welcome in. Happy Friday, you submitted the list too. Let me go ahead and approve that. How are you and Wolf doing today? Happy Friday to you both. Hope it's going well. Welcome in and welcome in. Uh, sideboard wise. Well, that's the easiest rest in peace I ever brought in my life. I could consider Torpor Orb. So Torque Orb doesn't shut off Landfall, but it turns off the Aftermath illness. Hey, I don't actually think it's worth it. I think it's just rest in peace. Uh, we're going to cut a Kyla's Command. We're going to cut uh, an Angel's Fire and Red Maw's Ire. And we'll bring in three rest in pepperoni pieces. Oh, God, this hand's actually going to be working for the whole crap. Okay, sure. Piece. Uh, I would not say lands is quivering. Like, it slows down the lands deck, but it does not automatically stop. The deck itself just cannot do, like, the Aftermath Analyst loop, but it can still get there. It is, uh, it is still scary. It is, uh, still a very scary, scary deck. Although we are going to attempt to be just as, uh, scary here. By uh, trying to combo up some slick shot show offs. And an Illuminator Virtuoso. Uh, that's the game plan. The only thing with the Virtuoso, though, is it doesn't have trample. So I gotta be wary of that. Let's go ahead and plot there. Say no attacks. Pass. Yep, I heard. Yeah, the president of uh, Watsi did step down. Oh, no attacks. All right. Sure, sure. Uh, we're just going to play in our Virtuoso. And we're going to hold back. 
see them do their aftermath analyst. Okay. First lands too, unless they have rage. That's fair, yeah. I mean, High Noon has a lot of matchups that it can hit. If you are only playing one spell a turn, and your opponent is the one trying to play two, it really can hurt the opponent. Now in this case, I am really hoping our opponent does not have a Vampire's Vent. Oh, there's an ult. Well, that's unfortunate. Damn. See, if they didn't have the ill time or the Vampire's Vent, it's like, for sure we have this. That being said, we, we may still have this. Four mana? If they play anything else out here, I'm not worried about uh, Vengeance. I'm still worried about vengeance. Uh, another Slip Shock show off. You know what? Sure. I'm greedy. I'll wait a turn. Why not? Splunking? You got it. Didn't you have lethal? No, I don't think I did. I will this turn. I don't I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Go off. Go off. And you have a response. You have a response. No, don't tell me you have the vengeance now. Oh, don't do me dirty. Don't have the vengeance. Don't do it. Don't do it. You don't have it. You don't have it. You don't got it. You don't got it? Yeah, you don't got it. I didn't think you did. It is unfortunate, um, but it's fine. So they did, however, have a Fire of Victory. That's uh, a little bit more unfortunate. We still set them down to nine here. Damn, Fire of Victory died. Damn. Ah, oh, the other explosion. That's three explosions. No, maybe it's only one. My bad. Oh, no, that is three explosions. I did count it right. Well, I guess I'm bivouacking. Another analyst? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. One, two, three, four. Five, they go up to 15. Okay. Splunking untapped. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're kind of forced to activate the bivouac. Put them four instead of 10. I would still probably guess that they did have the fires of victory. Okay. Yeah. Of braid. I'm sad. I'm sad, chat. I am the sad. Oh. I can activate my bivouac again. I'm gonna go ahead and activate the ancestral anger again. Watching a bunch of board wipes, how do you feel Surge of Salvation over Lauren's Escape? Fuck the protect multiple creatures? Um, like Surge gives Hex Grip. Surge doesn't give Indestructible. There's no way you just... Again? I'm not getting all the luck here, holy. Like the big thing is Surge does not totally protect you, right? We're only trying to protect one creature, so Loran's I prefer over Surge. Yeah, there's all the land. I mean, we're not done an hour. If I can get a, like, a Swiss Fear still kicking in. Flame Sage is probably our ideal at the moment, though. And those last two cards in hand are roughly dead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, Surge is good for protection against, like, red and stuff. 
but I don't I don't recall it giving me destructible. If I recall correctly. Yeah, it's hexproof until I'm turn. And all damage, black or red. Oh, yeah, it's prevent the damage from red, which prevents from full time explosion. Yeah. Oh, seriously? Can upgrade? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, wipes are all exiles, anyways. That's true. But the di preventing the damage from red is nice. Uh, that could be relevant in this matchup. Uh, especially, yeah, I could see that being on the sideboard. Probably cut like a Lithomantic. Well, we're going to get in for game three. I'm, we're on the play, so that should be a big difference. We almost have them. No qualms to me about that. We'll take the play. Okay, now you're just laughing in my face, Arena. <laughs> Give me the rest in peace, but a one man. All right, seriously though, uh, this is not gonna be a hand we can keep, so we're gonna mulligan. I can work with it. We we can work with it. I'm gonna go for Richard Wells on turn two. I, I, yeah, Hexproof is definitely good. So no question for me there. It does also protect first discard. This is also true. This is also true. Yeah, so maybe we actually main deck two then. Maybe it's main deck two Surge of Salvations. Okay, Virtue, sure. Have a ready courtyard, yeah. All right, uh, let's go play in a Swift Spear to start. And we're gonna cast an Ancestral Anger on our Virtual Soul. And I'm gonna discard another Swift Spear. And we're gonna play the Inspiring Vantage in. We're gonna go to combat. We're gonna do Monstrous Rage. I'm gonna discard the Bivouac. Opponent goes down to seven, we have an Angel's Fire, and none of their board wipes can hit our Virtuoso. They have to hold up a, uh, yeah, I know this doesn't matter here. We're good, we got the game shot, let's go. We got it. And we drew the rest in peace, cause fantastic. I'm actually going to skip rid of this piece here. And that's the game. You want to try any deck for exile? You can do. Yeah, slip for blue and mist. Yeah, absolutely. March of the Swirling Mist is disgustingly good. The plot with PNLR. You need to stop at least seven. You're not wrong, though. Like, angsty. Legitimately, that's not incorrect in the slightest. Magic as a game has evolved into the number of ways you need to keep protection in consideration for interaction. I, I really, I, you're not, you're not wrong by that by any stretch. So the capo, I think, is uh, the capo represents something there for sure. Am I just going Swifty on one? Yeah, I'm probably just playing Swifty on one. We can like pot or slick shot show off. Okay. We'll attack for one. Resolute reinforcements. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's just go ahead and. Uh... Well, actually, do I just want to play in the virtuoso? I think actually I do. By playing the Virtuoso, it at least stops the Resolute from pushing in damage at the moment. Which there is benefit to that if this is just mono white humans. They tap for Phyrexian? Okay. Go down to 19 here. I'm really looking to actually get a spell off the top, but uh, 
not uh, not currently happening here. So we'll just cast another Virtuoso and pass the turn. Hmm. We're not really uh, drawing any of our spells. The nice thing is with the Virtuosos, as soon as we hit like a cantrip spell, we can start conniving through. So there's benefit in that. I'm just going to go ahead and block the 1-1. One, one. I, I think the opponent may have an Aganjo. So Flame Sage, that's not... <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Flame Sage is great. <laughs> but I really want a spell. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I just want a spell. I guess, okay, like, this isn't bad because I can use the Swiss Bear to go ahead and enlist the Flame Sage to look a bit deeper. Maybe we hit an Angel's Fire. Well, it's not terrible. I'm attacking it with Adeline again. So many good cards, they're held back. It's true, it's true. Yeah, the hell back by the options. No disagree. Oh, another land. Come on. Am I just going in? I guess we're just going in. Like I, I don't, I don't know. We're we're going. In. I don't care. We're going in, chat. They're holding up in a ganjo. It doesn't matter. We're going in. We're going to enlist our Kelvin Flame Sage. Let's see what we can get. Top three. Give me something. Give me something. Give me something. Da -da 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 -da. Come on. Huh. Surge of Salvation. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for the Ancestral Anger, though. We'll target in on the Virtuoso so we can trigger some prowess shenanigans. Trigger connive as well. Another land. What is going on? Oh my goodness. Another land. Okay, yeah, I'm not winning game one here. That's that's for sure. Yeah, we are, we are just straight up not winning game one. I cannot believe we, uh, we flooded out this way. I am impressed. We do lose our Flame Sage. That's unfortunate. We do have them down to 10. We got that going. Like, real smash in the option without attacking. Yeah, you have to be careful with, uh, with attacks for sure. I can't believe we've only hit lands. What in... Double strike makes us keep Flame Sage. It does. Another show off. Fine, whatever. Whatever. Am I just I you know what? We're going we're going in. I it doesn't matter. We're going in. I, yeah, you know what, Cam, I think we're a creature deck now. I really don't know, but we're, we're just, we're going. Actually, I, I actually attacked like this. Ah, oh, goodness. Okay, there's a Monstrous Rage. That's, that's something. Let's go ahead and get that on the Virtual, so. Yeah, that's something. I think we've got lethal? Really? Another land! My goodness. The land's ridiculous. Like, there's six damage in the air. This has to get, like, something gets through here. Yeah. 
I actually think we do win because Virtuoso is swinging in for eight. We've got six damage in the air. I, I think. Yeah, I think we're fine. Yeah, 100%, we're fine. Cool. I don't know, we're a creature deck. Somehow we won. I don't know, chat. I'm not gonna ask questions. I'll take it. It's whatever. Anyways. Oh, I think... Well, how the frick was I supposed to know? <laughs> Cool, we got game one. Uh, Search of Salvation, we can actually cut in this one. Loran's Escape, and I, I don't know. Mm, Lithomantic could be value. Okay, let's think about this. Lithomantic's not the worst here. I can cut the iron. Okay, so if we manage to pull a Lithomantic off, Lithomantic cleanly answers any of their creatures, because this is just mono one. My guess is they had the Phyrexian Vindicator in the hand. That's why they named Phyrexian on the Cavern Souls. So, yeah, we're just going to bring in Little Manic for the game, too. Oh, uh, those were days. Uh, ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, mmm. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Hey, what's going on, Goblin Mode? How you doing? Welcome in. You bring the Threaten in. That's fair. That's fair. This is a... Uh, this is a hand. Am I playing Cleric? So they're Ilias... Oh, that's fine. I'm... Like, this can backfire on... I'm doing it. I'm doing it, chat. We're, we're doing it. We're, we're, we're virtuosoing. We're doing it. We're doing the thing. I don't care about a bunny corn. That's fine. I got an angel's fire ignition. I, I can actually also just implementic it, which is rather hilarious. But uh, for the moment... Uh, do I want to do that? I'll do it first. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I mean, yeah. We're gonna... We're gonna just hold back the Slipshot show up for a turn and say no attacks. Yeah. I think that's the right play. Sure, second bunny corner. Bring your worst. Genka. Bring it. Uh, yeah, I'll take two. That's fine. Oh, oh, this is gonna be so great. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Slick shot show off. Gonna play in this ancestral anger. Slick shot show off. Gonna get in some insane damage. Slick shot show off. Hey, look, there's our college command. Slick shot show off. Okay, this is disgusting, and I just want to preface that. Uh, we're gonna keep that back. And then we do it again! And look at this insane damage. Slick shot show off. Look at this insane damage. 21! Blackjack! Uh, yeah, yeah, Slick Shot's doing pretty well, Berserk Bunnies. It's doing pretty well. <laughs> It's doing pretty good. Hey, look, a Valerie stance. Oh, that's cute. This all comes from an understanding that ideas are that's adorable. Hey, Harley, what's good going on? Good evening, Astral. Uh, slick shot show off. Gonna get this crazy win. Harley, welcome back for those 14 months. Thank you so much, my friend. How you doing? Slick shot show off. Gonna get in that little. Oh yeah. Crazy how some of those games went. Now I can't say that I made all the best of sideboarding choices with those. Maybe not the best attacks when I should have, 
but nonetheless, it definitely was some close matches, always pushing the game three. I'm really excited how that bivouac really pushed in some extra damage. And Flame Sage, how that shined so much. I'm so glad that card is in. Well, Calper, thank you again for this deck. I really appreciate it. And Dragonauts, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. It was always appreciated. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. Stay updated on all the new decks coming up for the Allies of Thunder Junction meta. And as always, keep believing. I'll catch you next time.